He is a filmmaker, writer, and author of the new novel, Liar Mouth, a feel-bad romance. John Waters. Oh, thank you. Hello. John Waters, how are you, sir? I'm well. How you doing? Great to see you at your undisclosed location. You're a very yes. <laughs> subdued there. You look fantastic. Uh, Thank I, you so much. I wonder what it would be like. You're such an icon at this point. What would it be like if you and I walked down Santa Monica Boulevard, you know, in Boys Town? Well, it and depends which block. You know, because it used to be... It used to be on Santa Monica Boulevard that they had different blocks. Out front of Okie Dog was the killer hustlers. Then you went another block, it was straight hustlers. Then bisexual, then gay, then drag, and then trans. So, you know, it's hard. There's a lot of red lights on Santa Monica. So, I didn't pick them up, but it, it was nice to watch. You know, I, I guess I wasn't looking for all that information, but... <laughs> Stand on whatever one you pick. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. When you walk through a neighborhood like that, I mean, you just must be mobbed like the Beatles in 1964. Well, people are lovely to me everywhere. I get the same reaction um, in a biker bar or in, in, in jail when I visit people. The guards ask me for autographs. <laughs> so, right. You know, if I'm on the subway, I get recognized for the Chucky movie. It all depends which thing I'm, I'm doing, you know? Right. So I like to go everywhere. But you're right. I mean, uh, I am getting so respectable, you want to puke. I, I, well, <laughs> I, 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 are you offended by that, being respectable? I mean, I think you might be. I see you're getting a star. I'm not. You're getting a star on the Walk of Fame. Okay. And, and I know. And I'm really on You have one, too, on Vine, right? What's that? You... You have one, too, on Vine? Oh, anyone can fucking buy one. <laughs> no, but no, you have to, you know, you have to, anyway. Yes. So, but my <laughs> thing is, well, I, you don't get to pick, but when it was announced I had one, someone quipped online, finally, closer to the gutter than ever. <laughs> 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 and I, I know you don't get to pick where yours is, but... Kind of, I wish mine was in front of Larry Edmonds' bookshop, you know, or the best on Las Palmas. That's where that great newsstand used to be. That's where that church was, where all the hustlers stood. And that's where Divine showed up on a garbage truck to the premiere of Female Trouble in that theater. Wow. Well, I know you're also getting a exhibit at the Motion Picture Academy Museum. Yeah. You're right. You, you can't get much more respectable than museums and Walk of Fame. What, what is in the exhibit there? Uh, when they go to the well, John Waters exhibit, what would they see? Just think, Divine's identification birth certificate is going to be in the same building as Dorothy's ruby slippers. That's going to be great. <laughs> but what I would like to get, and I'm still trying, they've been get, gathering stuff for two years on this, is to get Divine's cheater. That's the fake vulva pubic hair. And a friend of mine had it, and he died, and the family sold it. And then someone called me and told me they had it and tried to kind of hold it hostage that I would pay for it. So I'm hoping that if they hear this, give Divine's Cheater to the Academy exhibition. Well, someone should run as a one-issue candidate on that issue alone. <laughs> uh, but uh, what about pink flamingos? Isn't that, like, yeah. there must be something from there in there, because that's, like... Oh, yeah, there's a no, lot no. of stuff in Isn't it. that yeah. the 50th anniversary this year of when... Yes. That's amazing. And it just got picked by the National Registry. Our government picked it as a great American film, which is really insane and wonderful. But Criterion released it, and I even... We went back and did extras. I went into the house where... Uh, one of the characters live and they hadn't seen the movie and we filmed it and I said, can I lick the banister like Divine did in the movie? And they said, yes, you can. And so I, I put Divine's curse back in the house 50 years later. It was exciting. Could, could you even pitch that story today if you were going to a movie studio and saying you wanted to make that movie? Would they even listen? They do listen because you know, Bill, of all the political correctness, I make fun of myself and the rules that I live in. I haven't been canceled. My new book, we sent it to the sensitivity editor. She wouldn't call us back. We, I think she died. We don't know what happened. 